Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily video. Um, I haven't done an update in a while. Basically, I was busy with Heroes Fest, you know, with the streams, uh, making stream highlights and also making the guide videos. Um, so now, I'm going to be showing a little bit of, of my progress. Basically, some of the things I've, um, you know, I achieved in the, the, the past few days. Um, didn't really do much. I didn't do much with my spark yet. Kind of gemmed him up with an okay set. It has 43% resist. Not exactly the best. It's an intuition set on, um, on HP, defense, and, uh, and, and HP. It's, it's not too bad. I think this one has like 16% resist. This one has, uh, 18% resist. And this one has... Yeah, this one only has 9%. That's actually kind of sad, but it I do I am able to like complete the intuition set meaning do I I get the bonus crit and this one actually does also have a 12.5% crit um boosting his crit to like 40 something percent and he he'll be able to basically be kind of an annoyance, I think. Um I thought really long and hard and I actually don't really need to use this guy in, in my PvP defense. I don't think he really contributes anything, to be perfectly honest. Even if I had like a really, really good conviction um, set on him, he doesn't really contribute anything unless I can get him on Pugilist, um, which isn't really possible because I don't have the triangle gem. I don't have a triangle... Well, I, I don't have a spare um, triangle Pugilist defense or HP gem. Um, that I can throw on him, so that's that's actually the problem um, with this monster over here. Man, my nose is so itchy. What the heck? Um, but the thing I wanted to show you guys is this this light Coco. Now I max skill this light Coco all the way. I raised him to max level. Uh, he was the one I showed on stream, and he's on triple HP siphon now. So he's actually able to help me farm some of the harder stages. Now today, uh, we're gonna just be playing with this new toy. We're gonna be playing with this light Coco, doing some tests with him and seeing seeing how he fares. Um, I, already, I already did the clan battle. I usually don't record videos at this time, but I thought I, I might as well make a video now to, um, you know, just show some fun stuff. So I was actually testing him in Golem's B10. It was not actually as effective as I thought it would be. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe instead of using Fire Purse, I should go with Four Siphon. Yes, I should go with Four Siphon instead. We're, we're gonna try this out. We're gonna try. We're gonna try Four Siphon um, instead of instead of Three Siphon with Fire Purse. And the cool thing about um, Indra is, you know, or not just the Indra, but all Courageous Strike monsters, um, Courageous Strike on the Golems B10, like on the B10 Golems, actually has like a 60% or 63% um, bonus increase, according to some some guy that did some maths on Reddit. Um, I don't remember the exact post, but I can, I can, I should be able to find it. Um, but basically, Courageous Strike is is a uh, very very effective on on titans um so that's that's one of the advantages of running a courageous strike monster um obviously the dark indra is very very good because he's an actual attack type courageous strike monster and he is dark so he will be able to take advantage of the um the his his base crit damage unfortunately i don't have a crit rate gem um i don't have a spare siphon crit rate gem for him to use Mm, not enough damage to her. Oh, actually, I got a full bar. Alright, that was enough damage to kill the side units. Oh god, but that Jin got one shot. He's not too effective without an armor break, to be honest. Yeah, we're kind of losing out on damage. Okay, I think I think fire purse might actually be better. Yeah, fire purse is definitely better for for golems if you have no armor break. If you have some armor break, I think the the Indra can do pretty well. Um, Coco surviving pretty well. He took some retribution hits, and he also got, got armor broken. He's getting hit quite a lot. 
but I don't think this is a very fast team. This is actually super, super slow. I think that was like 1 minute and 50 or something. Oh, 2 minutes. Oh my god. That is, uh... That, 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 that's a no-no. Um... Let's try again. Let's try... Let's try with Fire Purse instead, this time. We're going to see how well this does. Um, I think this is definitely, definitely more stable than before, because if I'm running two light tanks, then there's a very, very low chance, like a much, much lower chance, even if there's like four Dark Moon Flowers on the first wave, um, I basically, like, nothing really bad will happen to me, because I do have two light units splitting up the, the damage. I think with three, uh, three Siphon units, I'm able to clear the wave really, really fast every single turn. Problem is this, the uh, the Persephone isn't on Siphon, so she's actually relying on the Blue Souls to make sure her, her bar is charged. Also, if not all four units get a full bar, um, the side unit won't actually die on the second turn, so it actually might waste some attacks on the third turn. Yeah, it's, it wasted quite a few attacks. That's 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 not good. Yeah, I don't I don't see any uh, any benefit to running two light tanks instead of one. The next test is we're gonna use him to solo tank and see if he's able to to do that job. I'm not exactly sure if he hits harder than the Light Nike. Let's let's actually do a damage test. We're gonna do a damage test right now. Let's let's do a let's do a damage comparison. All right. Well, I guess we'll run the same team. It doesn't really matter. I wanna I wanna compare um, since there's two dark moonflowers we'll hit hit the two moonflowers since they should have the exact same amount of stats. So we're gonna hit it with the Nike and then we'll we'll hit it with the light coco and see uh, how much damage they do each. So it was like three hits of uh, nine nine k to ten k. Ah, oh, that didn't that didn't crit. Uh, but it only did two hits. That was like twenty k non crit. All right, we'll we'll kill this bee. Hmm. All right, let's try again. Dang it, that crit again. It's like thirty k. We'll see if this one crits. Let's see how much damage this does. So that was a uh, sixteen. 17k. That was like 32k, actually. I think he actually might do more damage than the Nike. He, I actually think he dishes out more damage than the Light Nike. It's very interesting. We're gonna ta test his uh, AOE next wave. We'll just, uh, we'll just finish this guy off. So on, on first skill, non-crit, he actually, or on crits, he actually does more damage than Nike. We haven't tested a non-crit, but since they already both have a full bar, I might as well, uh, I might as well use their AoEs now. See how much damage this does. One, two, three, four. Around, uh, three, three to four K of four hits. So that's like, that's like, uh, around 10 to 12 K or so. Try, we'll try this. So I was, I was watching the Moonflower. That was like 5 hits of 5k. So it was like... No, that was not 5 hits. It was, it was like 4 hits maybe. Was that like 20k? Or was it 3 hits? I think 3 hits might be more... Uh, 
Yeah, I think I think three hits might be more reasonable. We'll we'll try it again. We'll try it again. That was uh, that was that was actually a little bit awkward. It was it was too fast. Even on one times, I was not able to clearly see how much damage or how many hits it did. We'll we'll try it again. We'll try it again. God damn it! I couldn't see shit. <laughs> I could not see shit just now. Well, we can actually see their bar go down, but that was on a crit, so it's actually not fair. Actually, no. We'll we'll nuke the boss. Yeah, we'll nuke the boss and see how much damage it does to the boss. So the boss's HP is over here, right above his buff, um, his second, third buff. We'll we'll nuke him, and it's a non-crit, and it did about this much. Um, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll use the Nike to AOE next turn. So it kind of went from here to here. Uh, I actually should see the number, it's probably more accurate. We'll, we'll try this again. Two, three, four. Oh my god, that was a crit. Dang it. I actually think he does more damage than the Nike. I really do. It, it seems like he's doing more damage. But the stupid numbers are going so fast, I can't even tell. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try a normal skill. Maybe this won't crit. Okay, that was uh, three hits of like 7k. We'll try this. Oh, that was a crit. Oh my god. I think this boss is gonna die soon. Or I'm gonna die soon. If I keep fucking around like this. So three hits of around 7k. That was around 30k. Seventeen, eighteen k. Yeah, he does way more. He does more damage than the Nike. He definitely does more damage than the Nike. He's also more resilient to uh to 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 the retribution as well. Seven K, twenty K, seven K. Wait, why does it seem like his crits do more, but his basic attack doesn't do as much? Oh well, I, I can definitely. You guys can slow down the video, take a look, and af after um, I finish recording this video, I can actually slow it down. And take a look as well. Yeah, it was like 30k. But th that was like, that was like three hits of 10k. But that was like 18k seven or, yeah, that was like 18k 17k. Yeah, his, it feels like he's doing way, way, way more damage. Or not way more, but like slightly more damage. Well, let's see if he can, uh, if he can solo tank this. If he can solo tank this, he might be better to use than the Light Nike. We'll see the run time as well. I think it's due to the skill books. Like the skill books make him so much more uh Oh shit, he took so much damage from that. Oh no, it's because the Moonflower crit. Alright, everything should be dying from now, like just AoE non-stop from now.
He's not guaranteed to get a full bar when he nukes, but he's very, very likely to get a full bar because of the blue soul. He gets about um, like 75% of his bar after he nukes. Aw, oh, stupid purse hit the side unit. Oh, I didn't get his animation. But it doesn't matter anyways, because even if the purse hit the boss, I would still need one more turn to kill him. I meant 24. This seems this seems pretty nice, but I don't I don't know if it's stable. We're gonna have to do way more runs to to know if he's he's actually all that good. You know what? I actually do have a way to make him more stable, but I'm not sure if the runs will be as fast. Instead of using fire purse, I'm gonna use my dark Indra. This this actually could possibly be my fastest team. I'm not sure, but maybe if I have better gems on this Indra and also have him evil three, then I can I might be able to do it. Yeah, he's doing quite a lot of damage. Oh, no full bar. This could be bad. Yeah, if Jin doesn't have enough damage to kill. Yeah, he's not enough damage to kill the beast. That's one extra attack wasted. But it still seems pretty stable because the Indra gets his bar pretty fast. Dang it, why is there no morale boost create a strike? Attacker. That's what we need. Actually no, we just need this fire suck on, on Siphon as well. But it's very very hard because she also needs 100% crit. Although I do have that crit lead, so it's not actually too, too difficult. Nope, four attacks. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, I had potential, I think. If my suck got her full bar, or if she was skilled up with a three turn armor break, this boss would be dead by now. And I could get like a sub one minute run. If I, if I had a full, fully skilled up fire suck on Siphon as well, I'd get a sub minute, one minute um, golden speed 10 run. But I think for, for now, it's actually, it might be more stable to run Fire Purse. Also wasted two attacks on the second turn, so that's a, that's another five seconds added on to my timer. I, I think I could be unlucky. We'll try one more run. I, I feel like I was unlucky. Because if she got a full bar and used her AoE again on the second turn and landed one more armor break, the Indra nuke on the third turn were to kill the boss straight out, and I would have gotten a, I would have gotten a, like a sub one minute run. Or no, actually no, because the the second turn it, it was kind of wasted damn the chin can't get a full bar on first turn and he wastes his AoE on two almost dead units okay those are this is a horrible horrible run This was this runs even worse than the one before. Oh, I could see that if I was running fire purse, this could be very unstable because he could literally die. I think I think he he could die right now. But I think even if he dies now, I can still kill the boss with these three. Maybe. Actually, no. They don't even have a full bar. They they're gonna waste two turns killing the side units. Oh god, that stupid Jin. No, I, I need a I need a crit rate gem on Indra. It's the only way. It's just unstable like this. He doesn't do enough damage. He he would have way higher consistent damage if he had a. Yeah, this is unstable. This is very unstable. Hmm.
Hmm, what if I didn't use the gin? Actually, wait, no, that, that wouldn't help either. That would still be pretty shitty. God. Just nuking my Indra non-stop. Yeah, he's dead. But I think Suck can finish him off. Just solo. I mean, she'll just... She'll, she'll get a full heal every turn. Pretty much. Oh god, no, she got attack down. Shit. I'm in trouble. Well, even with attack down, it's almost a full heal. Oh my god, no, she's gonna use her AoE. Oh no, Retribution just straight out killed her. Never mind, never mind. Alright, that was a horrible, horrible run. That, that, that didn't really work. Let's try another team. I have another uh, team that might actually work. And it actually goes a little bit like this. Should I run Fire Suck instead? Oh man, if I if I had her on Siphon too, imagine the crazy shit I'd be doing. Hey, what if I put Jin on a non-crit set, like triple attack, and then I put a, f I give his crit rate gem to uh, to Fire Suck. And then I can put her on, uh... Yeah, I can put her on triple attack. And then I can just put Jin on... On, uh... No, not, not her on triple attack. I can put the... I can put the fire suck on a uh, crit rate double attack, and I put put Jin on on triple attack, and she can still get a full crit, like a f like a hundred percent crit. But he won't be as effective for farming other stages. No, I'd, I I would never, I'd never forget my Jin. Like he's his gems need to be kept on him at all times, or else my farming just sucks shit. Oh man, Fire Purse needs a. needs a siphon as well. I'm missing one more attack uh, square siphon. I could put her on siphon as well. But we'll have a full siphon team. I feel like I don't need the Jin to wave clear. Like if I have everybody else on Siphon, the Jin wa Jin wave clear is kind of redundant. Like it doesn't really help all that much. It doesn't make the run all that much faster. But this this is this is way slow. Uh, all right. He he doesn't really help. I should just I just go back to my normal team. Alright, that was, that was it for um, Golem's V10, but he has another use. I can use him for Slumbering City Farm. Alright, so this is, this is a full siphon Slumbering City Farming team. We're going to try this out. I think this might make things pretty fast. The good thing is he can attract the attention of the Dark Slimes as well. So the Vic isn't the only one tanking. The problem here is actually my Indra, like he's actually too squishy. Oh god, he just straight out died. That was horrible. Alright, that 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 Indra's not gonna work. Okay, putting that dark Indra on, on Siphon is pretty dumb, but he's the only unit that can fit a triple attack siphon set. Technically, I could t take a set apart and use some other gems. I can put Fire Purse on Siphon using his gems. Um, but it doesn't really help me as well. I need a I need a Fire Attacker with I need another Fire Gen. That's that's what I need. I need another Fire Gen with a square slot. 
That's 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 the only thing I need really. If I had two fire gen running this, things would be way faster. I mean, it's not unstable because I'm I'm literally running two aggressors on Siphon. So even if my Jin and Indra die, I think the other two can basically clear the stage no problem. But it's uh, it's not as fast without another attacker. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a bad run. That was a horrible run. Oh god, almost two minutes. A lot of gold though, like a ton of gold. Look at this. Yeah, but I do actually want faster runs. I don't I don't really need need to have a lot of gold. We'll do another run. Uh, if this doesn't work, we can we'll try something else. What I actually need is another fire attacker on Siphon, because the a lot of the um, units here, well not a lot of the units, but there's there's wood units, and fire has elemental advantage against wood. Fire also, yeah, fire is also neutral against all the other elements, because this stage has wood, fire, and dark. Mm, that that was a nice uh. Full AOE clear. I think if they do another AOE, they can actually wipe out this uh, this whole team. Or that actually might be sub one minute. I think that's that that run was sub one minute. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, 57 seconds. That was that was good. That's it's good if it's uh stable. The if the when it starts off, if it's stable, then it's good. But I think the Indra, if it, he's unlucky with his blue soul, he won't get a full bar. What I actually need is either a Fire Sig Siegfried, or I need another Fire Jin on Siphon. It's kind of the only way. I need to build another Fire Jin to make this like... If I can get like 57 seconds like consistent, always, then I, I would actually stop running Star Sanctuary. I'd just be running this, because I'd be profiting gold as well. So that, was, that was quite a lot of gold. Um, we'll try it again. I, I don't think I don't think it's always gonna be that stable. Like they're gonna just attack down my Indra and fuck him up pretty bad. All right, I know the way to make this stable. I need I need them to not hit my Jin. Because if they don't hit my Jin, my Jin can do this, and then like most of my guys will get a blue soul. But th this was actually unlucky because one of the slimes survived, so we have to wait. One we have to waste one extra turn to kill them. But the good thing is now everybody has a full bar, so they'll just do a full bar nuke, and it will kill everything for sure because it's four units nuking, and then another four units nuking. It should be able to kill everything for sure again. Yes. Okay, that that does actually work, kind of. It was a minute run. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, the Indra's definitely not not the right guy for the job, but I, I am getting twenty six uh twenty six hundred in gold, in just gold. When I'm when I'm running this, and then I can also sell the the gems and ruin gems actually sell for more than the other sets. Like out of out of all the normal sets, um, out of all the non dragon sets, ruin sells for the the highest. So that actually does have some uh, some advantages as well as for to farming the stage. But I I think if they kill my Indra, the run just becomes like twice as long. So that might not be too good. Um. The last test 
I actually want to do is I want to test them out in Star Sanctuary and I want to see the gold gain because Light Cocos actually do one less hit than Dark Mihos on their first I think Miho does three hits he only does uh he only does two that's that's one of his problems so on his basic skill he actually has less hits but on his AoE skill I think it's still like four hits or something so it's not too bad uh, so we're gonna be running this in the Star Sanctuary gold stage we're gonna see how well how well I do in terms of uh, gold gain. Now I think I said this before, but in case um, you know anybody's new, the gold gain of your team when you're running like story stages, not just story stages, even in Golem, the basic gold gain is dependent on the number of hits you do to the enemy. So the more hits you do to the enemy, uh, even if it's an overkill, it will still count as another hit meaning that you get more gold. So you, you want to make sure like everybody always has a full bar and is always doing AoE nukes in order to make sure your gold gain is maximized. That's why having four units on Siphon is very very nice for farming. Um, but unfortunately I don't have four units with morale boost and on Siphon attack so that's that's one of my problems. Dang, his animation was so slow. That was 44 seconds. What the heck? I don't even get that much gold. Hmm. Might have to reconsider my life decisions. I don't think he's very good for farming Star Sanctuary. I might as well just use like a light succubus to make sure these guys get their bars faster. It actually might be more consistent. I think he's his... 3-star animation skill is a little bit too slow and it's actually slowing down the runs. But I think for Slumbering City, he's definitely a pretty good unit to use because he's light, he's also got, uh, you know, really, really high damage. Maybe, maybe I was unlucky. Let's, let's try another run. Maybe I was very unlucky. See, my Jen has morale boost on first kill, and he also has a siphon ge gem, so he always gets his bar on second turn. Um, and then, if he does an AoE nuke, he does enough damage to overkill them and make sure his siphon gem is always, like, you know, getting him a full bar, basically. Like, he's guaranteed a full bar every single turn. Maybe that was leg. I think a leg. Did, did you guys see that? The loading thing came out. I think that the lag was what actually caused the 44 second run because I was thinking it would be impossible for just a little bit of an extra animation to make my runs that much longer. Hmm, 41 seconds. Yeah, his animation is definitely really, really slow. And I'm not really getting as much gold gain as I am before when I was using uh, when I was using Dark Miho. So I think if I want to farm Star Star Sanctuary. I definitely do want to put another fast animation attacker on on Siphon Set, and that attacker also needs to needs to uh, needs to do a lot of hits as well. The succubus do a lot of hits. Um, the other Siphon Set I got is a square double triangle I think that's that's the set I have I currently have right now and I don't don't really have any other uh, nukers that fit square double triangle no no I don't I don't want to raise that thing I I, I don't want to raise that thing Siphon Wood Pinolo on in Golems V10. Paired with Dark Indra and Fire Suck. Dang it, why do you have to be an aggressor? Oh, why don't I have a Dark Attacker with Square Double Triangle? Technically I do, but this doesn't really work. Actually, no, I want a fire attacker. I don't want a dark attacker. I want a fire attacker with squirtable triangle. There's there's not there's not even that many good fire attackers that really exist, you know? This thing's not even an attacker. 
Alright, I, I got nothing. I mean, like... I guess Leo works. Wait, what's the gem slot of this Leo? Don't tell me a square double triangle, because I will... Okay, never mind. You, you go back into storage. This this gen is also doesn't have a square slot either. His he can't fit that gems gem slot or gem set. And I don't really want to raise him because um, this gen has no square. Meaning in the future, if I want to put him on crit rate, it's impossible. So I definitely don't want to raise a gen with no square. So I'm just kind of waiting for another gen, like waiting to pull another gen, and then see if it. It's a fire gym with a square slot. I might get lucky next week. Pull fire gym, um, square double triangle. Actually, no. I need to do. Well, if I was, if I'm lucky with the essences, then I might be able to get another gym next week if I farm hard enough this week. Oh god, what can I use for farming now? I don't have any square double triangles. Where looks like we're fucked. All right. We're just gonna have to, uh. Maybe I'll just farm sl Slumbering City for a week. I, I'll i do one last test. Alright, this, this is the last test. Uh, I wanna see how fast I can run this. Because if I run three aggressors, I know it's gonna be very, very stable, for sure. So, let me just get my Miho. Should I use the Ruin one or the, uh. Yeah, I should use the Ruin one, because there's crit lead. You know, although this, this Miho doesn't have a uh, doesn't have siphon, uh, Mihos do do quite a lot of hit on their AOEs, and they are also aggressors, meaning that it's impossible for them to die on first turn. Like the only way I die is they focus my Jin, and they also have wood units. So even if they focus my Jin, um, there's a very high chance that he's not actually going to die. Wow, so unlucky. Nothing. No one attacked that mole. Nobody wanted to attack the mole. Hmm, this is a lot slower. I think that Indra's uh, blue soul generation is very, very nice. It's one of the reasons why the runs were also really fast. I guess we can just run the Indra... Indra team. But he's always at the risk of dying as well, so I'm not too sure. Because this is going to be slow, because I'm going to need two attacks to kill these guys. I need a full bar when they get... Like, I need everybody to have a full bar when we get to the second wave. It's the only way we can get a under one minute runs. I think this was like a minute and 40 seconds or something like that. It's definitely not too fast. A minute and 22 seconds. Um... I'd say it's it's okay-ish, but definitely not ideal. I guess I'll I'll go back to farming Star Sank, and instead of uh, running this Coco, in order to make sure I generate more hits, I'll just like run this uh, Light Succubus. I think this will I can do this for a week. The good thing about running Light Suck is uh, it's mainly to make it so my other... Oh wait, I was supposed to run the uh, run the Indra, not the, not the Miho. It's to make it so my other units get their bars more reliably. And then she doesn't have a fast... Like, she has a pretty fast animation. Faster than... Uh, than the Jin. Well, actually, her AoE is slower, but it's not—it's not gonna get to like 40 seconds with the Coco. Because Coco's animation is actually pretty slow on his uh, five-star skill. But I think he's still worth using for farming Slumbering City because of how uh, stable it is. Like adding two seconds of animation time compared to, you know, AoE clearing the whole wave, is uh, is 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 an okay trade-off. I think I would def definitely take that trade. So I think the only 
I think I should just do this for a week. I think this uh, this might actually be the best. Maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll get another fire gin, and we're gonna we're gonna build a second one. All right. This one I won't gleam. I'll just like I'll if I get another fire gin with a square slot, I'll just immediately raise them to uh to six stars max, and I'll just feed all the gins I have I currently have in inventory to make sure he's a uh, evil two at least. And he'll have like 2700 base attack, which is, which isn't too bad. With the morale boost and predator, he should still definitely be viable. Yeah, and then this with third turn, everybody gets their full bar. Does a nuke. Um, and this should be a lot of hits for a lot of gold. I think this is definitely like a over 2k gold run. I think I'll, I should have over 2k gold on this run. But wait, that was 43 seconds for some weird reason as well. Yeah, this was over 2Ks, but like, you know, for it to be 43 seconds, with the Coco, I wasn't able, even able to get uh, this much gold. But if I was if I was getting more than 2K gold every single run with, uh, you know, a few more seconds, then I think it's worth it. So yeah, that that concludes my uh, my showcase. Um, playing with the doing all these all the tests with this uh, siphon light Coco. I think I think it's definitely pretty fun. Um, I have some had some uh, siphon gems. Um, attack, defense, attack. I think this one's also an attack. Yeah, basically I have a square double triangle set that I can power up. Uh, we're well I guess we can power up and see what the substats give. I was I'm hoping this one gives like, you know, I think for most of my attack gems I'm hoping they give at least one crit. Even if even if they don't, it's not the end of the world, because I can definitely do an attacker without crit as well. This one gave defense, not not the worst, um, I would say. But it could be better. So I'm definitely hoping for crit rate as well. All right, let's give recovery. This definitely doesn't have the nicest substats, but it, it, it is a attack siphon gem, so I I think it's definitely uh still usable. I do have two extra defense siphon gems as well. I have this one. Uh, this one has a little bit of crit rate, not too bad. This one has a lot of like a really really high roll in defense. It basically all went into defense. So it's actually not too bad for a defense, like a full defense aggressor. Um, same with this one. Well, this one actually doesn't have any defense, but you know it, it is a defense siphoning gem. We'll see. We'll see what substats it gives. It actually might give a little bit more crit. So I think that that could be nice as well. Oh, this thing spawned defense. I actually wanted to all roll into defense now. Yeah, all, all three of these substats are like the absolute worst for this gem. But if it rolls into defense, it's still still pretty good. It's an it's an interesting gem. Um, I'm, I think I'm getting to the point where I no longer need any sort of... Uh, any... Any flat siphon gems. I'm, I'm actually thinking of selling most of my flat siphon gems. I do have some crit damage siphon gems as well. But they would need to spawn crit rate for them to be useful. So if they don't spawn crit rate, I would actually sell these as well because they they really serve no real purpose if they if they don't give me some crit rate. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been keeping a few flat attack gems, attack siphons, and they actually have a little bit of use because I can actually put them on on like just some random monsters to basically generate more hits they don't need to be like super super good farming monsters anyways um i'll i'll do that i'll, I'll do my theory crafting on my own um i won't waste your you guys' time thank you guys so much for watching this video um it basically concludes my my uh little T test runs of my light cocoa hopefully you guys enjoyed this and yeah it was it was definitely pretty fun I, I'm pretty happy with the monster it has a lot of potential but we 
I'm not quite there yet. All right, I just need I just need to push it a little bit more. I need like one more attacker, and I'll have a very very nice um, slumbering city farm team. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.